Hey, buddy. Why don't you go get me a drink? Thank you. So I uh, posted a funny little video last week about uh, my dog getting a beer, which I'll include in the comments below. Uh, I had so many people uh, send me uh, private messages wanting to know how I trained them to do that. I thought it'd be fun maybe to make a little video. This is not exactly an advanced trick, but if uh, your dog has issues with uh, recall or uh, impulse control, aggression, well, there's a lot of issues that you should address before teaching your dog a trick like this. If you've got time to spare to teach your dog, let's get the basics down first. But that being said, okay, here's how I uh, trained old Morty here to get me a beer or a drink, whatever. Step one, I guess, would be to teach him to bring you things, any things, just something you designate. In this case, it's just one of his chew toys that's about the same size and weight as a beer. So this probably takes the most time to learn just because it's a little tricky. Once you get this part down, the rest is is uh, a lot easier. <laughs> you like them flies, do you? Okay, Morty, go get that for me. Okay, see, that's 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 the hard part. Once he knows how to get you things and bring it back to you, uh, then we start working with the cooler. First, uh, maybe close to the cooler, and then, like right now, I've got it on top of the cooler. Go get that for me. You want to get him used to the cooler. Now, when it comes to the cooler itself, I've made some modifications. This was a failed thing. It was just a little flap I glued on there that he could lift it, but he'd have to lift it and let it go, and that just wasn't working. Then I glued a, just a close, half a clothespin on here, in which case he can open that with his nose, push it up, yes, and then go in, as you can see. So once he's uh, figured out how to bring that to you, uh, the next part is his favorite part, and any dog's favorite part, just because it involves treats. Sit. And the treat goes in the cooler, and now he's got to figure out how to open the cooler. And believe me, with a treat in there, this part doesn't take long. Okay, go get your treat. There's only one. You can come out. All right. So after he's uh, taken a few treats out of the uh, cooler, come here, sit. Now you got to show him. He gets the treat now for retrieving the thing you taught him to earlier, which uh, is this toy conch in this case. All right, go get me a drink. There we go. That's so now word of caution. Uh, when you are moving now to the to the drink itself, I'm using a Coke in this case, but a beer, whatever whatever your drink is. Uh, first of all, I wouldn't start teaching a dog this until all his puppy teeth are gone, because you know what little needles they are, and you are going to lose a few. He's going to pierce a few cans. Now, the most important thing to do, especially with in this case a German Shepherd, they're smart, but they can be skittish. So when he does puncture this, and it, if he's going to while you're teaching him this, it's the best thing you can do is just don't pay any attention. When he does pierce one, he's going to jump back. It's going to freak him out a little. Just go pick up the can and uh, don't make a big deal about it. Give him a treat and just end the training session for then, and, and he'll, he'll forget all about it. Come back next time. Start fresh. Uh, Start with a beer or drink on top of the cooler, or anywhere actually, just so he realizes that it takes a certain pressure to grab one of these and bring it back safely without puncturing it or dropping it. So, mister, why don't you go grab me that drink? Oh, no, it's on top. Nicely done. 
And finally, he's going to graduate to taking it out of the cooler. So go get me a drink. I have a hand sign for that. You can't see, but there he, oh, he dropped one. That's okay. So there you go. That's pretty much the step-by-step -step breakdown of how to teach your dog to bring you a beer. I'm just going to finish this video up by saying that, uh, of course, I am not a trainer or do I have any uh, knowledge of uh, dog behavior or training. Uh, this is just how I did it. I'm sure there's a million trainers out there who are going to tell me a million things that I did wrong, but hey, say la vie.